This is Dinner Reinvented, where I show you how to make simple, easy dinners every night of the week, like reinventing game night leftovers. So you had your friends over for the game last night, and you have a few leftovers, some veggies from the vegetable platter, and definitely a couple of beers. I'm gonna show you a super easy recipe for braised short ribs. So I'm using Sierra Nevada. If you've got some Shiner around or some Heineken, whatever beer works for you is awesome. But I like something that's dark and sort of ale-y. This is a fresh hop ale, so it's gonna add a lot of flavor for those short ribs. If you had friends over for the game, you wanna do this the night before you're ready to eat dinner. Then let it cook all day, and when you get home, you're gonna have dinner on the table in a second. I have half an onion, but if your onion is small, you can use a whole onion. And it doesn't have to look beautiful. This is all gonna saute and almost fall apart. It's cooking for so long. So if it doesn't look beautiful or perfect, no problem. Two garlic cloves. Not even gonna chop them, I'm just gonna drop them in whole. And over here, I have my aromatics. Some rosemary and some thyme. Ah, oh, that smells so good. Here I have some boneless short ribs. These just fall apart when they're cooking for a long time. Slide them right in. Two beers. Woo! What else is nice is if you had a couple of beers that you opened and nobody got a chance to drink, you can use those beers. Doesn't matter if it's flat or not. I'm gonna get a little squeeze of some ketchup. If you have tomato paste, that would work fine too. I like using ketchup because it also has a little bit of sugar, so that sweetness balances out that kind of salty flavor of the beef broth and the beer. It doesn't look like much now, but after several hours braising in the crock pot, this is gonna be one delicious meal. So I'm just making quick grits, just like the back of the box says. But instead of doing just water, I like to do half and half, water and milk. It adds a lot of richness and silkiness to the grits. Now to finish these, what I like to do is add a little bit of good cheddar cheese. This is an aged cheddar from Scardello. Ooh, that smells good. And then here is our braised short ribs. Doesn't that look delicious? It's so tender that that meat is almost falling apart. All right, let's dig in. Mm. Game night leftovers have never tasted so good. I'm Roni Proder. Thanks for joining us for another Dinner Reinvented.